I think like there's two there's two main motivations I think for becoming a multi-planet species and a space-faring civilization and, and and then ultimately going beyond that to go, to go to other star systems and explore the galaxy and I think we may find that there's there's many one planet civilizations that died out millions of years ago and never made it to the Did you know that Venus our scorching hot neighbor has an atmosphere so thick it could crush a submarine well, that's just one of the secrets hidden about our next door neighbor. Now Elon Musk, the billionaire entrepreneur and CEO of SpaceX, has just exposed a mind-blowing discovery on Venus. What did he find that has left the scientific community reeling? Could it be a game changer of cosmic proportions? Brace yourselves for the shocking truth that will challenge everything we thought we knew about our place in the universe. Launching in 2029, the Da Vinci mission, named after Leonardo da Vinci, is designed to address fundamental questions about the origin, evolution, and composition of Venus. During two gravity assist flybys, da Vinci will study the cloud tops in ultraviolet light, tracking cloud patterns as they change with time, and analyzing signatures of mysterious chemicals that absorb ultraviolet light. Both flybys will also examine heat emanating from the Venus surface on the planet's night side. Venus, often called Earth's sister planet due to its similar size and composition, hides a multitude of intriguing secrets that set it apart from our home planet. Picture this, a scorching, inferno-like environment where temperatures can skyrocket to a blistering 864 degrees Fahrenheit, enough to liquefy lead. Yes, you heard that right. Venus holds the title for the hottest planet in our solar system. But that's just the beginning. While most planets obediently rotate in one direction, Venus rebels against the norm. It spins in the opposite direction, creating a mesmerizing spectacle. This peculiar dance means that a single day on Venus is actually longer than its year. Imagine that. It takes Venus more time to complete one full rotation on its axis than it does to orbit around the sun. Now, you might wonder why Venus, despite being farther from the sun than Mercury, manages to be so scorching hot? The answer lies within its thick, suffocating atmosphere, dominated by carbon dioxide. This atmospheric embrace creates a greenhouse effect, mercilessly trapping heat and driving Venus's surface temperatures to unimaginable levels. But Venus isn't just a hot spot, it's also a celestial showstopper. Have you ever noticed a dazzling, radiant object shining brightly in the night sky? That's Venus stealing the spotlight as the second brightest object after the moon. It even boasts the audacity to grace the daylight hours with its luminous presence, earning the names Morning Star or Evening Star, depending on its appearance. Beyond its scorching heat and mesmerizing dance, Venus boasts yet another captivating feature, its intricate system of clouds. These ethereal formations, composed of sulfuric acid, create a mesmerizing display of patterns and colors within the planet's atmosphere. It's as if Venus is an artist, painting its skies with breathtaking strokes of celestial beauty. But there's more to these clouds than meets the eye. Some scientists believe that the patterns ingrained in Venus's cloudy tapestry hold vital clues about the planet's past climate. These swirling formations may hold the key to unraveling the mysteries of Venus's atmospheric history offering us a glimpse into its ever-evolving climate over the eons. Now, let's take a moment to appreciate the intrepid explorers who have ventured to Venus's domain. Throughout the years, several spacecraft have dared to approach this enigmatic planet, each mission uncovering valuable insights. Among these pioneers was Mariner 2, launched by NASA in 1962. It marked humanity's first triumphant step into interplanetary exploration, flying by Venus at a distance of approximately 22,000 miles. Through its instruments, Mariner 2 detected the planet's high surface temperature and pressure, allowing us to deepen our understanding of Venus's atmospheric conditions. But the quest for knowledge didn't stop there. The Soviet Union embarked on a remarkable series of missions known as the Venera program. Spanning from 1961 to 1984, these bold endeavors sought to penetrate Venus's secrets by sending probes to its surface. The journey was treacherous, and many early attempts met with failure due to the extreme conditions. However, perseverance paid off when Venera 7 accomplished an astonishing feat in 1970. It became the first spacecraft to transmit data from the surface of another planet, forever etching its name in the annals of space exploration. 
Subsequent missions, such as Venera 9 and 10, followed in its footsteps, capturing captivating images and gathering precious samples from Venus's enigmatic surface. With each successful mission, our understanding of Venus's composition and geological makeup expanded, providing us with valuable insights into this captivating celestial neighbor. Embarking on a journey to unlock Venus's enigmatic treasures, humans have launched a series of audacious missions that push the boundaries of exploration. One such trailblazer was Pioneer Venus, launched by NASA in 1978. This groundbreaking mission consisted of an orbiter and four atmospheric probes. These intrepid probes delved deep into Venus's atmosphere, meticulously measuring its composition, temperature, and pressure. Meanwhile, the orbiter soared above, meticulously mapping the planet's surface and sharing the mysteries of its magnetic field. Not to be outdone, Magellan took the stage in 1989, captivating us with its innovative use of radar to map Venus's surface. It unveiled a breathtaking tapestry of topography, showcasing the majestic mountains, sprawling valleys, and captivating craters that dot the planet's rugged terrain. But Magellan's revelations didn't stop there. It unveiled Venus's fiery personality, exposing over 1,000 volcanoes, illuminating the planet's tumultuous volcanic history. In 2005, Venus Express, launched by the European Space Agency, gracefully slipped into orbit around Venus, commencing an eight-year-long dance with this captivating planet. Its dedicated study of Venus's atmosphere, temperature, and ionosphere brought forth a surprising revelation, a cold collar adorning the planet's upper atmosphere. This remarkable find deepened our understanding of Venus's atmospheric dynamics, revealing its unique weather patterns that continue to bewitch and baffle. Not to be forgotten, Akatsuki, the tenacious spacecraft launched by the Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency in 2010, fought against the odds to fulfill its mission. After a tumultuous start, it finally settled into Venus's embrace in 2015. Since then, Akatsuki has meticulously studied Venus's atmosphere and weather patterns, unearthing the secrets of its complex meteorological systems. Among its remarkable discoveries was a colossal atmospheric wave that spans the entire planet, a testament to the awe-inspiring forces at play. While each mission has unraveled fragments of Venus's enigmatic tapestry, the planet remains shrouded in mystery. There is still so much we don't know, leaving room for tantalizing possibilities. And in recent times, the whispers of excitement have grown louder. Elon Musk's SpaceX team has made a staggering revelation. Evidence of phosphine gas in Venus's atmosphere. This extraordinary find has sparked speculation and wonder, as phosphine gas could potentially signify the presence of microbial life, an astounding revelation that could rewrite our understanding of life beyond Earth. The recent revelation on Venus has reignited our fascination with the possibility of extraterrestrial life. Scientists, captivated by this groundbreaking discovery, are already devising new missions to delve deeper into the mysteries of Venus. It appears that something extraordinary is brewing within the planet's enigmatic clouds, as researchers have detected an unusually high concentration of a molecule called phosphine. Now you might be wondering, what's the big deal about phosphine? On Earth, this pungent and flammable chemical is often associated with microbial activity found in feces, farts, and decaying matter. In essence, it serves as a telltale sign of life. But here's the twist. Venus is an inhospitable realm, plagued by sulfuric acid clouds, suffocating surface pressures, and temperatures capable of melting lead. Hence, the presence of phosphine in a relatively temperate cloud layer is a game changer. This region boasts abundant sunlight, Earth-like atmospheric pressure, and temperatures conducive to supporting life as we know it. But how do we know that phosphine exists on Venus? Well, here's a fascinating tidbit. After the radiant sun and serene moon, Venus shines as the brightest celestial object visible to the naked eye from Earth's skies. Its captivating brilliance has captivated humanity for centuries. It was precisely this shimmering jewel-like spectacle that caught the attention of Jane Greaves, a radio astronomer at Cardiff University in Wales. Although she typically focuses on studying nascent planetary systems in the depths of space, Greaves decided to turn her attention towards our cosmic neighbor. In 2017, Greaves trained the James Clark Maxwell Telescope on Mauna Kea in Hawaii towards Venus, searching for distinctive patterns of light that would reveal the presence of various chemicals akin to barcodes. Little did she know that her endeavor would yield astonishing results. 
During her analysis of the data, she stumbled upon a telltale signature, a spectral line associated with phosphine. This stinky and flammable chemical, typically linked to living organisms, was a breathtaking find. Could this signify the existence of microbial life hidden within the ethereal clouds of Venus? The implications of such a discovery are mind-boggling and push the boundaries of our understanding of life in the cosmos. Further investigation and analysis are essential to confirm this groundbreaking discovery. However, if it proves to be true, it has the potential to revolutionize our perception of our neighboring planet, Venus. Now, let's take a closer look at phosphine, a compound with a distinct aroma reminiscent of garlic or rotting fish. While its odor may not be pleasant, what makes phosphine truly fascinating is its rarity and potential implications for life. In the popular TV show Breaking Bad, we witness a dramatic moment where phosphine gas is used by Walter White to incapacitate two threatening individuals. It's a prime example of the thrilling nature of this compound. However, creating phosphine in reality is far more complex than what is portrayed on screen. Clara Sosa Silva, a molecular astrophysicist from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology and a co-author of the study revealing the phosphine finding, explains that phosphorus and hydrogen have an inherent aversion to each other. Hydrogen typically prefers bonding with other elements, while phosphorus tends to bond with oxygen. Curiously, gas giants like Jupiter and Saturn contain phosphine. This is due to their hot interiors, which create an energetically favorable environment for the production of this molecule. However, Venus, our celestial neighbor, presents a significant challenge. Its atmosphere is dominated by a runaway greenhouse effect and abundant oxygen-containing chemicals like carbon dioxide. Under normal circumstances, these chemicals would readily absorb any phosphine's phosphorus, preventing its accumulation. Therefore, the presence of phosphine in any amount, let alone the quantities observed by Jane Greaves and her team, is a perplexing puzzle that defies expectations. To delve deeper into this mystery, the researchers conducted additional observations of Venus using the powerful Atacama Large Millimeter or Submillimeter Array, ALMA, in Chile. Once again, they detected the distinct atmospheric signature of phosphine. Determined to explain the resistance of this strange molecule's existence, they explored numerous possible explanations. Could volcanic activity play a role? Or perhaps lightning strikes or even the disintegration of meteorites? Every imaginable scenario was scrutinized in the quest for answers. When it comes to contemplating potential habitats for extraterrestrial life, our minds often gravitate towards Mars or the moons of Saturn and Jupiter. However, despite its inhospitable conditions, Venus has always captivated astrobiologists for good reason. Scientists have discovered a layer in Venus's atmosphere, approximately 50 to 60 kilometers above the surface, where the conditions bear striking resemblance to those found on Earth. The pressure is akin to sea level, and the temperature ranges between 0 and 50 degrees Celsius. Granted, there are those infamous sulfuric acid clouds to contend with, but Earth harbors organisms capable of withstanding similarly acidic environments, such as those found in hot springs. And it is within this realm that scientists uncovered phosphine, a fascinating revelation. This isn't the first time Venus has piqued the interest of astrobiologists. Back in the 1960s, scientists observed that Venus's clouds were not reflecting as much of the sun's ultraviolet light as expected, indicating the presence of an absorptive element in the atmosphere. Some speculated that photosynthetic organisms could be responsible for this intriguing phenomenon, while others sought alternative explanations. Moreover, recent evidence suggests that Venus remains geologically active, and it may have sustained such activity for billions of years, potentially creating a habitat conducive to life. However, before we allow our excitement to run wild, skepticism must also be acknowledged. For one, the Venusian atmosphere is approximately 50 times drier than the driest place on Earth. The cloud layer consists primarily of sulfuric acid, with only trace amounts of water. While certain microbes on Earth can survive in highly acidic environments, none are known to exclusively thrive in the air, detached from a solid surface. All known life requires a surface to cling to at some point in its life cycle. Despite these formidable challenges, numerous astrobiologists remain buoyant about the prospect of life on Venus. While it is by no means guaranteed, the tantalizing possibility warrants further investigation and exploration, 